So a couple months back, I posted a video about the best watches to wear in the summertime. If you haven't checked out that video, I will link to it in the description down below. But I got a lot of requests after that video. Teddy, please make a video about watches the same type, but at a lower price point. So that's exactly what I wanted to do with today's video. What's going on everybody? My name is Teddy Baldassar. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about eight amazing affordable watches under $100 that are great for the summer. These are gonna be just everyday watches. I think a video all about divers is appropriate, so I wanted to split these up. These are gonna be everyday watches you can wear by the pool, walking around, wearing casual attire, and just feeling really good as the sun's beating down on you. The majority of these watches are going to be in our giveaway, and you guys really like the idea of a Q&A, so I'm gonna be doing that as well. So that'll be the first part of the video. Second part will be the giveaway. So guys, all these links will be in the description down below if you wanna buy these watches as well but let's just jump into the video. So first off, we're gonna be looking at Seiko. And the first Seiko we have up on today's list is the Seiko SNK M95. So yes, I know this watch is not going to be for everyone. However, with its piercing red dial, if it was ever going to be appropriate, it would be in the summer. This watch comes in with a 37 millimeter case and has the typical great loom applied to the hands, has a 30 meters water resistant rating, and is powered by a Seiko Caliber 7S26. This watch retails for just under $90, however, since it is a limited edition, I imagine it only going up in price from here. And I have done an entire video on this watch, so if you wanna check it out, I will also link to that in the description below as well. Next, we have a watch that I have in my collection I still enjoy. And I think it is really perfect for the summertime, especially when you're thinking about something that is affordable. And that is the Seiko SNK803. So out of all of the watches in the Seiko SNK800 series, I think this one screams summer the most with its fun cream dial. This watch might be the cheapest to buy of this line, coming in at just over $60. This watch also comes in with a 37 millimeter case, has 30 meters water resistant rating, and is powered by a Seiko Caliber 7S26 movement. This is a watch that's not gonna be offered up in the giveaway because I really enjoy it and I plan on it being a little beater in my collection. Now rounding out our Seikos in this list is the Seiko 5 SNK791. So I've included clips of this watch in a few of my past videos I have posted and I have gotten a lot of questions about it. So those of you that are still wondering what this watch is, wait no longer. This watch basically has the same specs, the last two that I mentioned, coming in with a 37 millimeter case, has 30 meters of water resistant, and is powered by a Seiko Caliber 7S26. However, this light blue dial that this watch has is incredibly unique and looks amazing in the summertime. I have been having fun wearing it, and I think this is also a great watch that would look great on a girl's wrist as well. So of the 20 girls that are watching my videos, um, and if you are a woman, please leave a comment down below so I know that you're down there watching. Um, YouTube tells me there's 2% of you are women. So if you are out there, I'd love to uh, see you in the comments down below. So now from Seiko, jumping over to Timex. And the first Timex we're gonna be looking at is the Timex Easy Reader. This watch comes in in several different dial colors. However, I decided to go with this royal blue type color since I thought it embodied the summer the best. This watch was launched in 1977 and is a fantastic option for everyday wear. It retails just under $70, is 30 meters water resistant, and has a 38 millimeter case and is also quartz powered. Next up, we have two common players on this channel, the Timex Weekender and the Timex Weekender Chronograph. First, the Timex Weekender. This watch comes in at $30 on Amazon. If you buy it from the site, it'll be more, uh, but this is a great watch and the cheapest on our list. It was actually the first watch that I really ever owned, I would say, and is one of the most versatile watches that you can buy. It has a 30 meters water resistant rating, is quartz powered, and a 38 millimeter case. Now for the Timex Weekender Chronograph, this watch can also be found on Amazon for around $50, similar to the regular Weekender though. Uh, it does have a 30 meters water resistant rating, is quartz powered, but the only difference is it's slightly bigger case coming in at 40 millimeters. Now on to another great affordable brand, Swatch. And the Swatch that we are gonna be looking at is their Swatch twice again. This is a watch that has a very basic dial, but I think that serves it well. When deciding on a dial, I think that the white is a no brainer for the summer. This watch also comes with a rubber strap, which will serve you well during the summertime. The only caveat to this is the fact that you can't really switch out straps 
which is a little bit unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. Getting back on track, this watch can be found for 50 to $75, has a 42.7 millimeter case, and has 30 meters water resistant rating. It is rather thin coming in at just nine millimeters and is powered by a quartz movement. And finally, we have a watch from a brand I don't think many of us are familiar with, and that is the Guanqin GJ16034. Now this watch is made in China, but for $60, you are getting a watch that is automatically powered by a Seiko NH36 automatic movement with a day-date functionality as well as a sapphire crystal. It has a sunburst dial and comes in black and silver. I think the silver is really tasteful uh, and is perfect for the summertime. And the fact that this comes in just under $70 is ridiculous. This is a lot of value. I think you can overlook it being from China. I think actually a lot of the conversation around everything being from China uh, is bad is a, is a stupid conversation to be having anyway. So this is a great watch for the price. So guys, what do you think of this list? Uh, be sure to leave comments down below. Also, I'm gonna be doing a video about the best divers under $100 in the near future. So I'd love to hear you guys' recommendations of watches that I should feature on that. And then one last thing and request of you guys is if you can follow me on Instagram, that'd be awesome. I've been trying to do more watch photos on there as of late, so I'm gonna try to make an effort to do that. Uh, so follow me there. I think it's great to communicate on there as well because of the direct messaging functionality on there. I think it's a really clean way to communicate. So guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, also hit that bell icon so you know when I release content for the future. And until next time guys, be well, and I will see you all very soon.